Let's talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers running back situation here. Former player Terrence Ga- Garvin, excuse me, I always pronounce his name wrong, hopped on the Arthur Motes, Motes experience the other day and talked about Jalen Warren and Najee Harris. And he believes, this is his bold prediction, that Jalen Warren is the guy. He is the future of the Pittsburgh Steelers running back position and that by the end of the season, he's going to be the guy that they turn to and say, yep, nope, we have our guy. We don't even have to think about it moving forward. This is what he had to say, quote, he'll turn it up a bit. He'll turn up a bit more than he has. I think he does. I think he does because of business. And I think he does because of this running back play. I think the business element will allow him to allow him the success that you're looking for to where you'll be able to say, we got the running back we need and we'll get another one to follow him. I agree with that. I think by the end of the season, Jalen Warren is the Pittsburgh Steelers running back one. That is no knock on Najee Harris. I have full faith Najee Harris will have a great year and continue to be a guy and hit free agency and earn some cash flow and hopefully a big contract somewhere else, but it won't be in Pittsburgh. Jalen Warren will be cheap. He will be younger. He will be just as electric, and he will be a running back one for the first time with minimal miles on him, which is always a good thing and an opportunity to find another Jalen Warren for the Pittsburgh Steelers, which is equally as exciting because getting a first round running back is awesome. Finding Jalen Warren's finding Connor Hayward's or not Connor Hayward's, excuse me, James Connors, those types of guys, those backups that turn into starters are what makes the NFL go round and what makes the Pittsburgh Steelers go round. And you could turn Jalen into a running back one by the end of the season as long as you have a good running back two people are going to talk about his size people are going to say things like hey guys at this point you'll be in year four is that really the future yeah I think it is I think Jalen is much bigger than his size says I think he plays like a monster he's as physical as they get he's proportional you know like there's Maurice Jones drew ish you know, that's who I remind that's who he reminds me of as a guy who could last eight years in the NFL being a successful running back because he knows how to utilize his body correctly and he plays with more strength than, than everybody. So I'm a big Jalen Warren guy. I think Jalen Warren is the running back one by the end of the season. And at that point, you go out and you go find another Jalen Warren, which is just as exciting for the Pittsburgh Steelers in 2025. Meanwhile, Najee still does his thing, but at some point, the Steelers understand that Jalen's the future and that he will be the the top goer by the end of the year. Too uh, too much? Not enough? I will say the one part of of your rundown of the Steelers running back situation there that I think is is easier said than done is go find another Jalen Warren because yeah. it, it's not always that easy. I mean, Jalen Samuels, uh, Benny Snell football is not too far in the rearview mirror. It is not an easy thing to find Jalen Warren's. That's why it makes it so exciting watching him play and, and exciting seeing him succeed. And I do agree with you that I think that whoever leads the Steelers when it comes to carries this year, it is not going to be a wide margin. It yeah, might yeah, be no. 52% to 48%, but I do think it's going to be a much more even split going into the season. And that's the difference between this year and last year. Last year, you went into the year and yeah, everybody was excited about Jalen Warren, but at the same time, it was fully understood that Najee Harris is a workhorse running back and he's going to continue to do that. And then yeah. they're going to get Jalen Warren in whenever they can this year I think it's going to be a much more concerted effort as you alluded to to from week one on to split those carries as evenly as possible and then at the end of the day by the second half you're riding the hot hand who has been running the ball better whose plays have been working better I think that's what Arthur Smith's going to end up doing and I do think that at the end of the day it's going to lean more towards Jalen Warren being the guy that gets the bulk majority of the carries and again bulk majority being 52 to 48% of the touches. Yeah, I agree. It'll look just like, hey, who are we playing? We're playing very offensive heavy teams, very dominant running teams. Mm -hmm. Cool. You could play a certain style of football and slow things down, and that's what the Pittsburgh Steelers will do. But at the same time, you're going to want some explosiveness. You're going to want a guy who could catch the football out of the backfield as reliable as anybody else. That's Jalen Warren. You're going to want those guys. You're going to want to have to keep up or you're going to have to keep up with teams like the Kansas City Chiefs on Christmas. And Jalen Warren's the guy that keeps up with the Kansas City Chiefs on Christmas and the Philadelphia Eagles 
and all of those teams in the second half of the season. I, I see a couple of comments in here about how Jalen Warren is not Maurice Jones Drew. I please don't take that literally. <laughs> just uh, just meant body size. Light comparison. Yeah, like it was not a Jalen Warren is as good as Maurice Jones Drew. It was Jalen Warren when you watch him play, you could compare his the way he utilizes his body to Maurice Jones Drew. Go watch Jalen Warren light somebody up as a blocker and then go watch Maurice Jones Drew light somebody up as a blocker and tell me that you don't get a little nostalgic watching those two highlights. I'm not yeah. saying that he's as good as Maurice Jones Drew. Perfect play. Go back to the Bengals game and watch Calvin Austin's touchdown. That's all you need to see. Exactly. Exactly. Perfect example. Perfect example. I, I think that the, the switch happens very gradually. I don't think that Najee takes a back seat to anybody. I still think this is a one, two punch, but if the Steelers are thinking it, just in the terms of where Garvin is going with this, as in the Steelers need to know where they're going in the future. I just say by the end of the season, Jalen Warren gives them a reason that they don't have to negotiate with Najee Harris. They could just tender Jalen Warren and then try to draft somebody or find somebody in free agency or something to where they have a running back too, but they're pretty confident Jalen could be the guy. And just watching Jalen in practice, man, like, we get some glimpses of it in games. We get a lot of glimpses of it in games. If you go watch this man practice, they used to say this about Antonio Brown. Like if you watch Antonio Brown practice, you know how great he's going to be. If you watch Jalen Warren practice, you understand how much more is in front of him than behind him. Um, and I think that we're going to get it this year because he looks even better this year than he has in years past. That's that's where I stand with Jalen Warren. I Again, please don't say he's please don't take Maurice Jones Drew comparisons seriously. I'm just using body size and and where they are.